at its most basic, the Notability app can be used as a whiteboard um, from your iPad. So I'm going to tap on the Notability app. And in the top right corner of the screen is that square with the pencil. That button will get me a new note. Um, I'm using, I'm already I'm clicked on the T, which is the text um, button. And so that this uh, keyboard popped up automatically. Typically your notes won't necessarily start that way. Um, the first thing I usually do is click into the title where it says note SEP 13, and then I, I edit that immediately. Um, so you can, you can leave it if you want the date to be the title, or you can name it whatever you're working on. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can change that. And then again, I'm going to go over the most basic tools, which are in that top center area. So since I'm already selected on the T icon, I'm going to um, just tap anywhere into the screen. And what that gets me is just a normal typing tool. Um, so you can you see you can um, ad adjust the font, the size, color, um, format, all that stuff. You can type um, anything you like and then resize it. Um, but I am going, so I won't spend a lot of time on that tool, but instead skip right to the next one, which is of course um, the pencil tool. That, by, um, when you click on it, it will be already set to a color and a thickness. If you want to change those, you can tap on the pencil again, and you can change the thickness of your line, you can change the color of your line, and if you scroll through the colors, you'll reach that plus symbol, which will allow you to custom create any color you like. And in the bottom left, I just wanted to show you, you have a few line options. I'm using the pressure sensitive line. You can also use a regular solid line, or if you scroll a bit, you see a couple of dotted lines there as well. So whichever one you need at the moment. And the next one over in the tools is the highlight. And so anything that's on this screen, you can highlight over with a semi-transparent highlighter. And so anything that you need to do um, in terms of highlighting, or if you have a note you've already created, and you just want to go through it and highlight for the students as you go, um, that works. To show you the eraser, which is the next tool, I'm just going to draw a few more things on the screen. And then I'm going to select the eraser. What's cool about the eraser is you can use it to just erase one thing. So if I tap on any one thing, you can see that item disappears. Um, I'm gonna, in the middle of this, I'm going to stop and show you the undo tool. So if I accidentally erased something to the left of the T, the text tool, you see that undo button. So I can undo and that brings back those items that I deleted. If I want to get rid of them again, if I want to redo, I just hold down on that undo button and I can pick my redo. And so that will delete again what I've already done. Um, so um, that's enough undo and redo, but um, that button is usually my best friend in the whiteboard because I usually need to do stuff over and over again. Um, the second half of the erase tool, it's pretty neat, is if you want to get rid of multiple items, you can um, hold down with the pencil and draw through anything on the screen. And you can see as I draw through items, they gray out. And that tells me that when I let go with the pencil, all of those things that were grayed out disappear. Um, again, I want to bring those things back, so I'm going to hit undo. And I have everything back on the screen that I need to show you the scissors tool. So the next tool there is the scissors. And the way that works is if you highlight anything with the scissors tool, and you can highlight just by drawing, you can see this box that I'm drawing, anything that that box hovers over when I let go is now selected. And then I can use that box that I drew to either rotate by grabbing the circle on the side here. So you can see I can rotate this item since it is selected. Or I can grab one of those tiny boxes and I can move in and out to either shrink or enlarge that item. And so just to show you that scissors tool again, anything that this box I create hovers over will now be controlled by whatever I do with that box. So I can rotate or I can shrink or enlarge. Finally, we have the hand tool, and that really just lets you kind of scroll up and down 
which I believe, so right now I'm using the pencil to scroll up and down since I am on the hand tool. If I were on any other tool, so if I go back to the pencil, if I try to scroll, scroll with the pencil, I'm just gonna draw. But if you remember this quick tip, um, you won't have to switch over to the hand. You can literally just use your hand. So now if I use my finger, I can scroll. So finger, scrolling, pencil, drawing. All right, those are the main tools. Oh, I guess I should show you this very last one here is just a laser pointer. So if you didn't want to put anything actually on the page, you just wanted to um, bring your students' attention to something, you can use this later laser pointer. And if you touch on it again, you can control the color of your laser pointer. Um, the, the last thing I'll show you, if you skip over, um, I'll show audio in a different video, um, but of course you can add audio to your note. This plus symbol is interesting for um, there. Oh, it's not in the plus symbol, sorry. Of course you can use the camera. You can bring in a document scanner, a GIF, um, a web clip or sticky notes. Oh, I think it is. Well, stickies does something similar, um, but you can see I can bring in a grid which might be nice for math teachers. Um, so I can bring this in as what it calls a sticky, but I can also go to the three dot menu and under paper, I can actually choose graph paper over on the right side. And so instead of having this sticky note that I'm gonna now try to get rid of or at least shrink down, now all the paper on the background is graph paper. Um, so down in the bottom right corner, you see I'm on page one of two if I hit that arrow to go down to page two, there's my graph paper. Um, <clears throat> I can keep going if I hit the down arrow again. Well, oh, I guess I have to draw on here first. So once I use page two, then it creates page three. So I can just tap, whoop, pa uh, tap down to page three. And if I keep drawing on this one, it creates page four. I can go down to page four. So it will create as many pages as you need. Since I've shown you graph paper, I should show you one more thing. I'm just going to make my pencil smaller and change the color. If I did want to make, um, say, an X and Y axis on this graph paper, I can do my best to draw a straight line, and that's not terrible. But if I'm a math teacher, I'm going to undo this. I don't want it to be an OK line. I want it to be perfect. So I'm going to do my best at drawing my straight line. And then if I hold down with the pencil, instead of letting go, you can see that not only does that line straighten perfectly, but now I can control the angle of the line as well. And it sort of snaps into place at 90 degrees, um, at 90 degree increments. Same thing with my vertical line. I can draw, this time I'll draw it a little bit wavy on purpose and show you that when I get to the bottom, if I hold, that line will snap straight and then I can rotate it until it is uh, vertical. So you can go pretty much any angle, and as long as your line is relatively straight, it will snap straight. You can also make shapes with this as well. So if you're not perfect at drawing circles, hold down, and the app will make the perfect circle for you. You can see the four um, squares pop up. Now I can shrink and expand. Same thing with a square. Hold down, square. If you forget to hold down, so let's say I would draw a shape and I just let go, undo, and then try again. This time I'm gonna hold down, I got my triangle. I haven't tried any more shapes than that, so it could be a lot more that it works on. Those are, the, my, those are my basic shapes that I know I can draw and identify. Um, that is all for now. Um, let me know if you have questions.